good evening dear children in the last class we have already started the chapter houses around us as you know dear children that a house is an important necessity for all of us children we have also discussed about the different types of houses especially we learnt about the kachcha house and the pakka house now children let us learn something more in this chapter today let us study about the houses built in small towns and big cities huts bungalows apartments duplex houses and skyscrapers are found in plains now children as we are learning about the houses that are found in the small towns and big cities you need to understand two things over here that some houses are built on hilly region that means some houses are built on the hills while some houses are built on flat land flat land means plains so what kind of houses will you found or will you find in the plains you will find huts bungalows apartments duplex houses and skyscrapers in the plain areas and in the hilly areas what kind of houses will we find we will we'll find houses that have sloping roofs now children in the small towns and in the small cities there is lot of space there are less people living and that is why the space available in the small towns is very large and over there the materials needed to build the houses is also cheap that means at low cost you can buy different types of building materials also the land in the small towns is cheap as compared to the land in the big cities so because of that since the building materials are cheap and the land is also comparatively cheap in the small towns what happens is that over here big and large houses are found in the small towns and cities and these big houses are known as bungalows and duplex houses so usually in the small towns you will see bungalows and duplex houses just like our city our city is not really big it is a small town right and hence around yourself you will find many bungalows so you need to remember this point now let us look at bungalows so now dear children where do we find bungalows more commonly you will find bungalows more commonly in the small towns so this is a bungalow let us look at a few more pictures of bungalows look at this even this is a bungalow now what does a duplex look like this is a duplex house okay beautiful isn't it so this is a duplex house this one is also a duplex house now dear children you know that in the small towns there is lot of land and uh, the building materials are also pretty cheap right but what about the big cities now in big city many people are living in big cities that means you can say that the population is very large very large population is there in the cities that means many people are living in the city so if many people will live in the city what will happen there will be 
less land so hence the first sentence you kindly see land is scarce and very expensive in big cities scarce means it is very less okay so because so many people are living in the big cities hence we have very less land in the cities also the land of the cities is very expensive that means you have to pay lot of money to buy a small piece of land in the big cities so if you will ever go to the big cities for your work or something else and if you will want to buy a land you will have to pay a lot of money why because land in the city is very less it is very scarce so how do people live then in the big cities in what kind of houses do the people live because i have already said that the land over there is not much and it is also very expensive that means it is very costly you have to pay lot to stay in the cities right so then what kind of a house do the people of the cities live in well the people in the big cities live in an apartment so most commonly if you will go to the city area you will find that most people around they live in apartments so then what exactly do i mean by the word apartment so now apartment is basically a building okay apartment is a building now there are many buildings in an apartment so what happens in the apartment the apartment has multiple flats now in the apartment what happens many flats are there as you can see in this picture many flats are there in this apartment okay and different families live in different flats okay as you can see in this particular picture that this is an example of an apartment and in this apartment there are many flats and in the flats what happens different families live okay in different flats now let us look at a few more pictures of apartment now look carefully these are two pictures of an apartment so what is an apartment an apartment is a building that has multiple flats multiple means many flats okay and many different families live in these flats and where do we most commonly find the apartments you will most commonly see the apartments in the big cities now this is another type of house or structure that you will see in the big cities now this is a skyscraper okay so now skyscraper is a very very tall building okay for you to understand it in simple words it would be a extremely tall building now look at the picture over here what do you see we see that these buildings are extremely tall if you look they almost look like the buildings are touching the sky right they are so tall that it almost looks like these buildings are touching the sky okay from the picture it looks like that isn't it so skyscrapers are basically extremely tall buildings and skyscrapers you will find them mostly in the big cities talking about our country you will find skyscrapers in cities like mumbai in other cities like delhi also i think there are skyscrapers but most commonly if you want to see skyscrapers you will get to see them in mumbai now this is a skyscraper and this picture is from mumbai so skyscrapers are extremely tall multi story buildings and where do we find them we find them in the big cities now children you saw that in the small cities in the small towns and in the big cities 
there are different types of houses everywhere so what could be the reason that there is so much of difference in the type of house in the small town and in the big cities why do you think that different types of houses are there in the city there are houses like the skyscrapers apartment whereas in the small towns you have houses like bungalows you have houses like duplex houses so what is the reason the reason let us just see first one is the total area available now what kind of house you can build depends upon the total area of land that means if you have a very big piece of land if you have lot of land then you can build a very big house you can build something like a duplex you can build something like a bungalow so just like in the small towns there is lot of space i told you right there is lot of land availability of land is much easier over here isn't it in the small towns so because in the small towns there is lot of space so because of which what can happen you can build houses like duplex houses and you can build bungalows but if you go to the big cities in the big cities there is very less land okay lot of land is not available land is less so you cannot have big houses over there like you cannot have big houses like bungalow or you cannot have houses like duplex houses rather you will have something that is more taller in nature that means you will have multi story buildings over there you will have apartments over there you will have skyscrapers over there right then second one is how much money is there to build the house now you should know one thing that to build an apartment and to build a skyscraper you will need more money okay but to build a bungalow or to build a small or to build a duplex house you will require comparatively less money because to build a skyscraper or to build an apartment you need more money so depending upon how much money you have you will build the house like sometimes you see that some people build small houses some people in your neighborhood might have really exclusively big houses so what could be the reason behind it the reason could be money right some houses are very big some houses are small so depending upon how much money you have you will make the house because everything that you do eventually you have to give money for it right if you want to make a house you need different types of uh, materials like bricks cement etc so you have to pay money for all of that so depending upon how much money you have accordingly the houses are built then third one is availability of building materials now to build any house you require some building materials you require materials like bricks cement steel etc now if these materials are available or no that is also a big issue so depending upon whatever material is available now let's say for example you live in a village and in your village you cannot have cement you cannot have uh, bricks so what will you do you will make a house that is made up of mud right you will make a house that is made up of straw hard wood so whatever kind of material you have whatever kind of material is available in your place in your area according to that you will make the house then fourth one is land type now land type i have already told you there are different types of lands on the earth okay some lands are plain some are hilly so the lands in the plains if you have land that is plain and flat then you will build a different kind of house and if you have land in the hills in the hilly region in the so in that uh, in that situation you will build a house that is different right so depending upon these four types we build different types of houses